Our next guest is a rising star in the world of comedy. Leslie Liao is a stand-up comic. She went from working in human resources at Netflix to actually appearing in a new Netflix comedy series called Verified Stand-Up. You can soon catch her perform in the Bay Area. Leslie joins us virtually live now. Good morning to you, Leslie. Good morning. Good morning. Well, Hello. Yes, yeah, so you were recently on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. Now you're on our morning show. You're traveling. Uh, how are you adjusting to all this back and forth? Um, I'm not. I'm very <laughs> sleepy. There has been no adjustment. I'm not handling this gracefully at all. <laughs> um, a lot of concealer. Oh. And eye drops and coffee is, is what I do. But it's, I'm very tired but so happy. Well, you know what? You're looking fabulous for this hour of the day. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I tried. Thank yeah. you. I tried. Um, I imagine it takes very little effort for you to look this great this at this hour. Oh, but no. um, <laughs> Well, I just wanted to say, first of all, congratulations on all of your success. You are blowing up on social media. You're on tour officially. How does it feel to have the spotlight? Um, I'm trying to pretend it's not happening. It's, it, it does feel weird. Like, it feels weird to have people. I did, I did have people, like, from San Francisco come out to a show in L.A., and they drove. Wow. So the weirdest part is seeing physical people out at a show come up to me and say they came to see me. Like, that. that's the most bizarre and also amazing <laughs> experience. Um, <laughs> but I'm trying to ignore it. I want to stay, stay humble. I want to stay normal. I will try. You can check back in with me in five years, and we'll see how I'm doing. <laughs> But that's the goal. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll hold you to that. Looking forward to catching up yeah. in five years. But, you know, Leslie, you're the daughter of immigrants, Asian-American woman. You're turning comedy. You know, well, turning comedy into a full-time career is obviously not an easy thing to achieve. So what is your secret? Um, I am very uh, hard on myself and very organized with my calendar. Mm -hmm. And I think my secret also is, like, I talk to myself like I'm my own, like, coach. I also know nothing about sports, but I always use a sports analogy. Like, you know, I, I talk to myself and, like, recap every move I make, my schedule, like, and I have this weird motto of um, what would LeBron do? Like, mm -hmm. would Because a very healthy thing I do is compare myself to LeBron James and Beyonce. So, you know... <laughs> <laughs> would, which I'm sure you guys do as well, but um, <laughs> like, would LeBron miss the practice? Would LeBron have like woken up a little bit early to, you know, try out something extra? Like, would he eat healthy? Would uh -huh. he, like, I, for whatever reason, like, you know, because stand up is, um, it's a pretty solo job. All you have is yourself to keep yourself accountable. So yeah. um, there's a lot of coaching myself and talking to myself like I'm a separate person. Mm hmm. Well, I got, what I got to say to that is it's good to have role models and people to <laughs> aspire towards. Um, you mm. know, Leslie, you're, I want to talk about your tour a little bit. You're officially on tour. How has that been for you? Um, I love it now, but the same thing, check back in, in with me in five years. Like, now I like traveling alone. I like, I weirdly like packing. I like um, being in my own hotel room. Mm -hmm. That's a little treat. Um, I love going to a new city and just like wandering into a coffee shop and writing and having the whole day to myself. Um, and I'm just excited to see like who all these people are in all these cities who like me. Like it's going to be shocking for me <laughs> to go to a theater and be like, oh, you, you like me. That's nice. Like I will <laughs> be in San Francisco next week. I'm yeah. very excited. Um, I want to meet as many people as I can. I'm a very sleepy woman, but I try as long as I can to stay out after the show and meet whoever came. It's like, it's that, that's like the cutest part is to see everyone who physically came out. And I know, um, I know what it means for them to like make my comedy show their night out. And I so appreciate it. All right. And, you know, a lot of your jokes involve your personal experiences as a woman dating and living in Los Angeles. So how did that become such a focal point of so many of the stories that you tell? I think it must have been a focal point because it was my daily reality. <laughs> um, so I think for when I write, I, I think I'm an expert in nothing. Like, I'm, I, I can't comment um, on, like, 
every current event, it's hard to keep up. So what I try to write is just what I know, which is like my day-to-day -day life in LA, dating, being a woman, getting ready for bed, being sleepy, um, barely making it on time to every single thing I have that day, trying my best, like that's my reality. So um, with my writing, I think I just, I kind of start with like, I'm just journaling about my day and see what funny things come from that. So yeah. Yeah, that's a result. All the, <laughs> all the jokes I have out there mostly are like struggles of being single, struggles of staying awake, um, <laughs> being an auntie, all that Aww. stuff. Cause it's my, my life. Yeah. And uh, you're yeah. set to join us in San Francisco on January 18th at Punchline. Uh, so can you give us a little preview? What can people expect from you at your upcoming show? Uh, it's going to be um, a lot of fun new updates on my life, a lot of growing up in Orange County. Um, I also can't help but like, because it's my first time in San Francisco, I'm going to want to talk to people in the crowd. So I will <laughs> warn everyone there. Um, but, uh, I'm just, I'm very excited to meet everyone after the show, but it's going to be a blend of, um, a lot of new stuff I've been working on and, um, probably getting distracted by all the cute, fun people in the crowd. Fantastic. Well, as stand-up comic Leslie Liao, thank you so much for being here with us this morning and we cannot wait for you to be here in San Francisco very soon. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I can't wait to visit. All right. Looking forward to it. We'll be right back.